Greetings everybody, it's Brad here with Alton Technologies. The latest version of mDaemon includes a built-in integrated XMPP server which allows your users to chat with each other regardless of platform or client or device. So the way this works is users can chat uh, on uh, mDaemon's own built-in world client instant messenger application or they can chat using their favorite clients such as Trillion or another client say on their mobile device such as iOS, Android, um, other mobile platforms as well. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate this for you and show you uh, how to set it up and show you how easy it is to use. First I want to show you the uh, knowledge base article on our website at altin.com which explains uh, how to set it up and it gives you a list of clients to choose from. So here I am at altin.com and if we go to the support tab and we go to our knowledge base and then under select a product we'll select mDaemon and we can type in XMPP in the blank provided and then click on get articles Okay, the most recent version, uh, the, the most recent article is this one right here mDaemon 17 XMPP uh, server for mDaemon so we'll click on that now before I uh, what I want to show you first is if we scroll down, you've got step-by-step -step instructions on how to enable XMPP support in mDaemon. Right here, you go to your setup menu, then we go to web and IM services, and then we click on XMPP, which is down here, and uh, I'll demonstrate this for you on my, on my test server. But if we scroll up in this article, we have a link here for a complete list of available XMPP chat clients. So if we click on that, you'll notice that you've got a lot of options and that's one of the best things about XMPP support with mDaemon is that you're free to use whatever client or device or platform you'd like uh, so this is really convenient if you're traveling and you're, uh, you've got your Android device with you, your, your iOS device uh, or if you're uh, you know, on another computer, a Mac, o Mac OS um, or you're an iOS device, even Linux there's a client for virtually any platform out there so uh, this is where you can go to find more information and you've got download links on the left hand side to go uh, to, those, to the website for each one of these uh, particular clients. So let's go ahead and, um, and set this up. In mDaemon, the way to enable XMPP is to go to Setup, Web and IM Services, go to XMPP down here and make sure this box is checked to enable the XMPP server. By default, XMPP runs on port 5222 for non-SSL connections and 5223 for SSL connections. So once we have this set up, we can click on OK. And then I'm going to demonstrate this for you. So first I've got World Client Instant Messenger, which is mDaemon's very own application, our very own uh, instant messaging client. And I've got an account called John Smith already configured. In fact, if I go to File, uh, manage connections, we can review the settings for my John Smith connection. We'll highlight it, we'll click on edit. And under the XMPP server name, we've got the name of the mDaemon server. I'm using a test server, so I'm using mail.example.com. The port will fill in for you automatically, 5222. You have the option of using a, uh, a, an encrypted connection via SSL using the drop down menu shown here. In the description blank, you can put in whatever you'd like. I put in the uh, first and last name of the user. The email address, this field is uh, grayed out because I've already created the profile, but when you're creating a new profile, this blank will be available for you to put in the email address. Then you'll enter your password. You can optionally save your password. And you don't have to worry about the resource blank that will populate automatically for you. And then you can click on OK to uh, create your profile. So I've already got a John Smith profile created here. Now I'm going to create another profile using Trillion, and then I'll do another one on my mobile device. So here I am in Trillion, and if I go here and I go to Manage Accounts, I'm going to create an account in Trillion for my Frank Thomas user. So we'll go here to Add a New Account. We'll select Jabber XMPP, and then we'll put in our information, the, the email address and password, now before I click on connect, I want to verify my settings because under host name, it populated with the domain name, but what we're going to do here is enter the host name for my test server, which is mail.example.com. Again, the port will populate for you automatically with 5222. This can be changed if needed. And once we have this information in, we can hit back. 
and then we can connect. Okay, so I have my Frank Thomas account connected, and I can close that window out, and then I can, I can right-click up here under Contacts, and I can add a contact to my Frank Thomas account. So under the Account drop-down menu, I'm going to choose frankthomas.example.com, and I'm going to look for my John Smith account by entering the email address. Then we'll click on Add. So this pop-up that I just got it belongs to WorldCline Instant Messenger. That's the, uh, the pop-up telling me that uh, Frank Thomas has added me and asking me if I want to add Frank Thomas to my contacts list. So we click on Yes. And then this pop-up is for Trillian also asking, also asking me if I want to add John Smith so I can improve him and add him as well. So now, sorry, I've got my uh, voice commands enabled as well with my World Client Instant Messenger. So these two users can talk to each other. So if I click on Frank Thomas from my John Smith account, I can, I can chat with him. And then I can chat back. I'm going to turn my speakers down here. So John Smith and Frank Thomas are now communicating with each other. But what about for those users who are on a mobile device? Well, I'm going to show you this, uh, how to do it via my, uh, my iPhone here. And I'm going to connect using an application called AstraChat, which is right here. We're going to hit select, Set New Account. And my username is the email address. I'm going to use my Bill Johnson account. Then we'll enter your password. And my, my screen name can be whatever you'd like. Um, I'm going to put in the first and last name. And you can go to Advanced and choose whether or not SSL is used. I'm not using SSL, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to enter my host name. Now I'm on an internal network. Normally you would put in your host name, but here I'm going to put in the, the IP address of my, my test server here. Okay, and then we can add our account. Then we can, we can tap on add, and it will try to connect here. Okay, and we're now, we're now connected. So I can go to my contacts here. I can add a contact. I can add, say, for example, Frank Thomas. Okay, and there's Frank Thomas, and I can also add a contact here under my John Smith account. And then I can add my Bill Johnson uh, uh, contact here as well. So we'll put in Bill Johnson example at example.com. We'll add him as well. Okay, so Bill Johnson, Frank Thomas. Uh, John Smith are all connected, and now we can all chat with each other. So we'll click on Yes here. And then I can go into my mobile device, and I can uh, select one of my users, and then I can say hello. And then we can all simply chat with each other uh, just like that. So it's very easy to, uh, to use your mobile device or whichever chat client you'd like uh, or whichever platform you'd like to chat with other MDMN users via the XMPP protocol. So this makes it easy for users to chat uh, on any type of platform wherever they are in the world. So as long as they have an internet or a, a network connection or a cell connection. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more uh, tutorials in the future and have a great day.